Hello, Internet. Ralph the Destroyer here, fucking up your Thursday night with a little bit of No Man's Sky streaming and a little bit of uh, unhinged chatter about, I guess, politics and life and the meaning of the universe as we look to the skies and see the worlds that lie be... Nope, no planets on the horizon. Stars, stars will do. We look to the stars and these strange serpentine creatures flying through the air. Uh, yeah. So, what were we up to? Like, we were scanning a hundred different things and relearning how to play the game and having, generally speaking, no idea what to do with ourselves. Um, yeah, so I think I had to fly to a different galaxy, different system, so that I could then go to an atlas system. Let's have a look. You know what? Let's just make this easy on ourselves. So we got the beers lined up tonight. We are drinking, not hosted by, uh, not sponsored by, I should say, but we are drinking Fuller's Honeydew Organic Golden Ale, brewed besides the t beside the Thames since 1845, which means it probably has piss water in it. Um... But, you know, it's good for the constitution. Oh, I didn't do this last time either. Okay, so I didn't upload all my flora or fauna. And I didn't change that. What? Didn't. So I can't change. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let it. Okay, wait. So we're in a different. Okay, so we'll keep the, the trend with this one. We'll upload this name as is. We'll upload. It's weird that this planet has been discovered, but none of the life on it has been discovered by whoever apparently landed there before. So this is going to go, this this podcast, this whatever it is, is going to go right up until my girlfriend gets home. And I have to stop being a jerk on the internet. We're going to rename it. Uh, and we're going to call it the Crank System. Because I'm going to rant like a crank. This looks like ring. Well, it is. It is. Ring B sounds like ring and the letter B, which could be the ring of your butthole. So we're going to call it the B ring. We're just going to call it B ring. Done. So, milestone. What do we got here? What do we? What do we got? What are we doing with ourselves? Uh, awakenings. Follow Starship Automatic Guidance. Okay, I'm going to ignore that just for a little bit so I can do a little bit of exploring. Which, as we know, if we have played this game before, involves a lot of wandering around, scanning things, and not much else. Because, truth be told, the gameplay loop of No Man's Sky if you've played it a fair bit before, can get quite tired quite quickly, unfortunately. And I have played it a fair bit. Uh, multiple games on the PS4, and now multiple games on the PC, because, as I said last time, new things have been released, and I've wanted to, you know, start again, get the full experience, but you realise that a lot of the starting off is consumed by just going through the motions, going to new planets. Fine. And if you've never been to a new planet before, that's excellent. But if you have, you'll find that even with the sort of the, the, the additions that they, you know, distributed for free, there isn't a hell of a lot of variation. Uh, as, you know, I made a joke last time about the poison planet, the toxic planet, the fetid planet. I mean, it's all really just the same planet, isn't it? Let's get these gross albumin pearls, which we can't scan. I tried to last time. I'm also trying to be... Yeah, so you can't do it. I'm also trying to be a little bit more consistent in what I'm talking about. I say immediately following a port. God damn it. Okay. Um, trying to be a little bit more consistent because I was a little bit frustrated at listening back. Uh, the breaks I was taking, switching back and forth between somewhat serious topics and me struggling to figure out how to play No Man's Sky. I really hope I started recording this. Oh, well, we'll see. Uh-oh, okay, wait. I need to get my life support. 
back on track. Uh, and for that we need life support gel, I suppose, or work. How, do, how does one how does one get out of here? I believe I came from this direction. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh oh, oh, okay. Ugh, that's the point. Like. Oh dear, okay. I'm stuck underground and I'm a little bit lost. Where did I come in? Uh, maybe up there? Okay, well, we're gonna... How do I make myself third person? I'm still trying to figure out how to play the fucking game. Uh, X, there we go. And we want... Utilities. Toggle change camera. Cool. So this is what it looked like. Pretty bland colour scheme. I never really got used to playing in third person in this game. I don't really see the draw. I feel like... Oh my god. Like I definitely need to upgrade my ability to run. I feel like I did not come from this direction. Oh well, we're off to a good start. Um, Beto O'Rourke <laughs> has has revealed that he's going to be running for president because he couldn't beat sentient slime in a... was it a governor's race against Ted Cruz? So, you know, in true... Uh, oh, I thought I'd run out of space. In true upper-class fucking... Entitlement style, he's now going to just try and, you know, run the whole business. Uh, what a... What? <laughs> he was interviewed and he used the term pendejo because he's trying to pretend to be Hispanic. Uh, even though nothing about his privilege or his lifestyle sort of reflects that of uh, the Spanish immigrants to America. Now that's a bit general. What I mean to say is I've got uh, Latin Latinx Latina and Latino friends on Twitter who immediately balked and were like I want to hear him say the word pendejo. Because <laughs> there's no way that fucking Beto O'Rourke <laughs> is pronouncing that like pendejo. Pendejo. I don't know. Better O'Rourke's a fraud. He's a Republican in Obama clothing who was basically, you know, at best, centrist. At best. Okay, so I'm going to deviate from what I was saying at the moment just as, you know, as coherent as it is. Just so I can... Okay, so... I want to put these in my high capacity. Oh, wait. Wait! No. Okay, wait. Do I have a high capacity cargo slot? No. Okay, so I need to put this on my on my ship. That'll do me. I should get rid of this as well. Don't really need that. Well, not for now, anyway. Let's... Let's make ourselves first person again. The control system, this has always just been a little bit weird. Um, so, we were putting that stuff away because we wanted to investigate maybe a light that we saw. I honestly don't recall. Let's go for a fly, see what we can see. Um, Beto O'Rourke is the second highest recipient of oil and gas lobby money of any American politician as far as I know. I could be wrong about that, but that's what I think I read. And usually, when I think I've read something... I doubt myself and don't talk about it. And then I go back and check and I would turn out to be right. So let's just, let's go with this one. It could be the second highest oil and gas money recipient of the Democratic nominees, perhaps. Uh, which, you know, would be just as bad. So, we're here now. Uh, we can open this. 
read the log. Wow, hexagon planet. Hmm. So implying that the hexagon planets aren't Ooh. used to be something else. So there are planets that are sort of made up entirely of sort of like hexagonal sort of metallic shapes. Now, if we scan... Um, no, I think we need a mission. Because we can get... there. So hidden under the ground here are like radioactive crates. And if you open them, you get hit with this massive burst of radiation, first of all. But... Oh, okay. Yes, they look like this. But you get... See, this is the issue. They all take a lot of resources to open. You get something valuable from inside of them, but they hit you with a burst of radiation and you get... Uh, and they, they take a whole lot of resources to, to manufacture. Let's... Oh, you know what? I'm feeling a little bit aimless. I'm feeling a little bit out of my depth. So how about we do two things? Let's go to the... nearest space station oh my god i can't get hang so i keep expecting a and d to yaw but it actually just turns the the ship which is confusing me a little bit even though you know it's it's not that hard to get it's quite an accessible control scheme i don't really need any of these resources yet and i feel like the missions sort of give it give you tasks to do resource wise um oh here we go okay let's go wait let's go to this building first uh better o'rourke doesn't believe in medicare as a right he doesn't believe in free college he voted three times for trump's increased military budget to increase the largest military budget in the world he voted three times to increase the largest military budget in the world but doesn't think it's feasible and he says it from a political angle, it's not f politically feasible. No one party can make this happen. Despite the fact that, like, 70% of people on both sides think Medicare for All is a thing that should happen. Seven, like, something like two-thirds of voters everywhere, across party lines, believe that Medicare for All should happen. And he doesn't think it's fucking politically, politically viable. Uh, no, we don't want to transfer that. We want to get rid of it. Because it ain't that valuable. Okay. Whoop. Okay. Ooh, that's, that's creepy. Something has been left to aid me on my journey. 51 nanite clusters. Like, that's... Uh, no one cares about 51 nanite clusters. I won't do shit. Pugnium. Okay, so I get that by destroying things. I need uranium as well, because that's what's going to get me off this rock. Unless you can also craft... What can you craft? Ooh, I've got jetpack upgrades. Okay, wait a second. So, starship launcher, dihydrogen, metal plating which is ferrite dust. So dihydrogen comes from uh, asteroids. Ferrite dust comes from rocks, so fairly accessible. Let's have a look at, wait a sec, E to install technology. Tritium, salt refractor. Okay, how do we make a salt refractor? Dunno. Okay, maybe I could buy one. Oh, this menu system is driving me up the absolute wall. Tritium and salt refractor. Condensed carbon chromatic metal. I can do that. Do I have a refinery? Nay. Can I... It's oh, going to take an extra slot, isn't it? <sighs> okay. The inventory management in the early game is not the highlight of this intellectual property okay well i'm picking up some condensed carbon can always use a bit of condensed carbon even though i saw some enormous crystals earlier didn't touch them 
Ugh. Okay, that's a window. How do I get out of this fucking... Wait, what? That's not a window. I just... Ugh. Really? Ooh, okay, so if I get these whispering eggs, they'll drop something... Creepy, but... Uh, they'll drop something valuable, I should say, but then I'll get uh, a whole bunch of creatures on me and I'll have to fly away. Which I'm happy to do. Let's do that. Fuck them. Oh, wait. Bam. Gotcha. Run, run, run. Biological horror. Well, let us, uh, let us not tussle with a biological horror. Goodbye. Yeah, run out of launch thrust to fuel. Nothing much to see here, though. I do need to clear out the resources on my ship, because they're wasting away pretty quickly. Um, oh, I will get the hang of this eventually. What was the last thing I said about Beto O'Rourke? But I said that he has taken a lot of money. He's trying to be Spanish. He doesn't believe in free college. Medicare is a right. Medicare for all, I should say. Uh, but he voted three times to increase Trump's military budget. <laughs> How far do you think this is going to get you? Like, okay, so he can talk with charisma. But that's the classic, that's why people hate politicians. Because they are charming. Some of them. Fuck. Some of them are charming. But then push terrible, terrible policies. That's why Trump got in. Because Obama was such a disappointment. Obama was so bad for the working class. And effectively eradicated the middle class, handed bailouts to Wall Street all over the place, drone, bon drone bombed fucking civilians in poor foreign countries. And at a certain point, working class people in Western countries go, wait, like, we're poor as well. Like, you're, dr you're drone bombing us, but just in a different place. And his, his, his smug attitude combined with his terrible politics just alienated so many people. Sorry, just going through my list. See what I can get rid of. Mm, yeah, okay. I need more inventory space. And Beto O'Rourke is cut from the same cloth as Obama. Except he's probably more right-wing policy-wise, I don't know. But he's in the pockets of the donors, like... There's just no other way around it. Microprocessor. Ooh, I feel like I could use that at some point. All this stuff feels... Yeah, useful. This is my starship inventory. Inventory. Oh, I must have fuck all space in my ship. I don't want to sell this and then have to come back and buy the fucking thing again. Oh, build a thing again. Copper seems useful. What's it used for? Chromatic metal. Hmm, see, I need to build myself a refiner. Let's talk to some fellas. Whoa. Okay. What do these guys take? Okay, I need to learn their language. Callback sway rhythmically, performance for others in convergence, perhaps they do not make us... Let's applaud. Let's let's clap him. Yeah, okay. That, that ain't for me. Now, the weird thing I hate about these is you can just go back again and again and again. See, get absolutely no result. Like, it's just it's pointless. There's no point talking to that person. Uh... Again, nothing, no point. Like, what's the what's what's the point? What is all of this guy? I don't know any. I don't know a thing that these people are trying to say. So let's cut our losses. What are these for? Hazard protection. Okay, let's cut our losses and continue with the missions. 
Because, I mean, at a certain point we're going to be stymied and we're going to have to grind, I feel. The one thing this game does better than any other game in existence is have that seamless sense of scale. So you, you're on the ground in a space station, you get in a ship, you rocket out of the space station and you're... You point yourself at a big round orb and you fucking fly. It's, in, it's pretty incredible. And these are never far away, these. So I'll get tritium from these guys. Which is uh, useful in... Refueling your ship? It has to be. What, what have we got on this planet? It looks like another burnt out husk. Boiling planet. Well, let's let's travel to the fuel source. So Better O'Rourke is just a, a fucking white Obama. And n people aren't fault. Well, some people are. I've got a mate who I thought was pretty savvy. And the other day he said, Bernie can't win. And I'm like, what universe are you living on? Bernie is the only person polling. I sent him a thing that said, yeah, what about this? And it, it was uh, for the 2016 polling results that put Bernie beating Trump in every single poll. And by every metric, he beat Trump. Bernie can't win. What? What? That doesn't make any sense. That's not based on fact. And he said, I saw it recently. He said, I like Beto. And I was like... What? 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 Why? Like, you only have to do the most basic research to see his background. And if you see his background, how can you possibly like him and think that he'll beat Trump? A swarm is sub. Oh, on a different planet, a swarm is subsiding. Overly warm. Well, it was called a boiling planet, so, you know. I feel like that's an under... Yeah, okay, cool. It is 60.3 degrees Celsius. Great. I, I just... I'm like, how can... If you like Beto, and you think he stands a better chance of beating Trump than Bernie, or a different chance than Hillary before him, you're not doing your research. Anyway, he's cancelled. Which is a shame, because I thought he was pretty savvy. I just, yeah, I don't know, understand how... Someone can go from seemingly not deluded... To believing something that is... Insane! And this is the thing about left, like the left wing. It's not hard to find genuine, reliable sources. N not like, oh, they're reliably on my side. Like, they're reliably factual. Real sources that back up what you believe in. That prove that what you think is right is right. It's not hard. The information's all there. So the only way that you fail to compute or, or have that sink in is if you're making a concerted effort to believe something different. It takes effort to believe falsehoods. You've got to do mental gymnastics. Curious deposit. Hmm. Chloride lattice, advanced mining laser. Well, I don't have that. Or do I? No, I don't. Do I? No, I don't. Of course I don't. I don't have, I don't have anything. Wait, but I've got the technology to build it. Oh, no. Two tech modules and a carbon nanotube. Fuck's sake. Alright. Let's find some technology modules. Hmm. 
this is what we're, like... It's hard in this game not to find tech modules, so how the fu- Oh, because you got to look in your visor, that's right. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, I know, I know that's down there. Okay, there ain't a single fucking tech module. Oh my god, okay, wait, how far is this? Yeah, oh, close enough. Anyway, my point is, you've got to you've got to work to jump through hoops to believe false shit, <laughs> you know. Although I will, you know, obviously freely fully admit that it is very easy to sort of read a thing and take it at its word. And I mean, if you're the kind of person that that looks at something doesn't judge the veracity of it, and it is like and just gets outraged, then I, you know, maybe Beto's right up your fucking alley. Oh god, I'm low on uh, literally everything. Okay. Oh, this is dihydrogen. Probably want some more of this. It's not very much, is it? In British news, Theresa May had a second or third vote on her deal, which fundamentally hasn't changed. She's taken it to the EU multiple times, and they've been like, no, fuck you! Uh, she's brought it back... And everyone has been like, this is, this is a shit deal. This is inarguably worse than anything we have now. And the Brexiters have been like, no, I will not vote for it. Because you should be doing a better job. When the things that they want are fundamentally impossible. Ooh. Well... Lucky me. And this is the problem. Theresa May without consultation. So she is... she. It's not just her party. She is largely culpable in a lot of this. At the start of the negotiation process, she was lumped with having to, you know, sort things out. She sat down with no one else but, like, two sort of unofficial advisors and... I'm not even sure if there were any other MPs. Came up with her own red lines. So, basically lines that she would not cross in a Brexit negotiation. Things that she could not compromise on. They were hers. These decisions were hers alone. Specifically alone. And they were impossible. Like, it was impossible to get the deal, a good deal, without crossing those lines. It was impossible to get a deal without crossing those lines. And she took it to the EU, the EU was like, no, that's batshit. That's fucking batshit. Are you kidding me? No, no way. And she came back to Parliament, and Parliament was like, no. And so she took the deal away again, changed nothing, went back to EU. EU was like, no, no way. I forgot to mention the first defeat, the first uh, instance of Parliament saying no, was the biggest House of Commons defeat in history. No... Nothing ever brought to the table in the history of British Parliament has ever been defeated by such a wide margin. Absolutely incredible. And so what did she do? Did she go, oh, okay, maybe I should reconsider this. Nope. Brought the same deal back to the EU. EU was like, no, fuck you. She brought it back for a vote. No, nah, defeated. So the only other options were no deal. So come out with no deal, which would be fucking catastrophic which means we forfeit all of our trade deals and have nothing to replace them so no deal or uh well well there is no or that was it that was the only other option uh we have no deal if we don't have her deal we have no deal and they voted today to not accept no deal Parliament. So her deal isn't being accepted by Parliament. No deal isn't being accepted by Parliament. 
they have voted for a common for an extension on the on the uh, on on actually breaking away from the EU. Uh, that the EU now has to agree with. So Parliament has voted. Okay, this is fucked. We need. Uh, an extension on Brexit because we, we just haven't made up our minds in two weeks we're supposed to be leaving and we don't have anything we need an extension the EU has to agree with this they've got no reason to do this other than good faith and we the, the, the Tory government has treated them with contempt the entire time let's just do this real quick uh, I'm going to just open another beer give me a sec Ooh, is it traveler or is it friend? Um, it is friend. Yeah, let's be kind. First question, Mark? Has it seen the Crimson Eye? Ooh, I don't actually remember. I don't think so. Ooh. Has the Crimson Eye seen it? The Eye has seen it. Find us Traveller. Ooh, that sounds... Urgent. I've got a warp cell, so that's good. These things are cool. They're weird little pyramid heads. They're strange. Okay, let's, let's put this in the... What's my next mission? Find the mysterious messenger, make your way into space. Hmm, okay. Um, so basically, uh, okay, that's my girlfriend you can hear in the back, probably. Hello, Alice. Hello. Sorry, I'm just talking to the internet. Oh. I'll, I'll be done in a bit. Cool. Okay, cool. I'm telling them about how uh, we've voted down May Theresa May's deal and voted down no deal. So now we've got no choice but to vote for a no for an extension to uh, to the actual uh, execution of Brexit, I think they did that. which they did, which the EU has to agree to before oh, it's wow. even a thing that happens. Right. Uh yeah, so if the EU doesn't agree to it, we're fucked. Cool. Yep. Or, general election. You know, just put the, but the Labour Party in. But this was the next point I was going to make. Internet people. Sorry. Just so. I mean, you're, you're allowed to listen in as well. If you want. No, she's not answering. Rude. Um. So, yeah. I mean, the other choice is a general election. But no one will do it. Because. Uh-oh. Wait, wait. Something's happening. I've been left messages, crumbs. Should I seek answers? Should I investigate these anomalies or breaches? Uh, uh, mm, uh, search for answers? Yeah. Scan frequencies with Starship Scanner. Whoa, okay. That, whoa. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay, well, I've detected an anomalous signal. Oh my word. Okay, wait. Yeah, that's a three star one. I don't know if I trust a three star one. You know what? Let's not. Um, yeah, because no one wants Jeremy Corbyn to be leader. Because they're terrified of losing power. That's literally all it's about. Uh, his deal has been agreed to by the, uh, you know, EU leaders. They've been like, yeah, yeah, there's a thing that can happen. Let's, 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 let's do it. Uh, but no one will do it because everyone is terrified because, uh, the, you know, the, a socialist, a truly socialist Labour Party will shake up the, the systems of power and no one wants to lose their power. And that's literally everyone except for this tiny socialist core within the Labour Party. It's the centrists, it's the right wingers. It's absolutely fucking everyone. So what I've done is I've just come on a freighter. Sorry, that was a bit of a hard sort of cut there. Uh, I've come on this freighter. I can buy this if I have enough credits, which I don't. 
So what I'm going to do instead is just have a chat with the captain and see if maybe he's got missions or something. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God, but I can't speak his fucking language because, of course, I can't. Uh, offer to buy that. Yeah, let, okay, let, let's have a laugh. Yep, 10, 11 million credits. Yep, okay, good. <laughs> Real funny. 3 million. You know what? Not that far off. Okay. Let's let's leave before we embarrass ourselves any further. But no one all no one all Every single member of parliament that isn't part of a socialist labor party is clinging to power. And you know what? If Jeremy Corbyn's socialists were acting like a bunch of jerks or idiots, then fine. But they've they're the literally the only people who have been competent in this whole situation which is <laughs> which is great uh, it makes it really easy to be a socialist in Britain at this you know at this particular time but it's frustrating to see just how many people are uh, are against you you know what I mean just how that balance of power is skewed against you for such like pathetic reasons pathetic selfish reasons it's really interesting I was, I've, I've talked about this numerous times with, with Atlas who you just met but she um, I, no not she I, I've talked about how I feel no it's not like I feel like I know like the, the, the you know the polls prove that the majority of people on Earth... Is this the right way in? Uh oh, okay, yeah. The majority of people on Earth believe in socialism. <laughs> believe in socialist policies. Like, policy for policy, they believe in it. It's just how, you know, the difference only lies in how effectively the government has tainted the word. So it doesn't matter if you consider yourself a left wing or a right winger largely or a moderate as my dad liked to call himself before you know he was radicalized by terrible fucking right wing governments functionally he's like we've all done the political compass even my girlfriend's sort of like conservative parents have done the political compass or at least one of them and they're fucking socialists like <laughs> there's no other way around it okay let's talk to specialist polo We'll finish this up. I feel like I've been yakking for a long time. I've got a lot to say today, and then we'll 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 finish up. Live to live to rant another day. Friends everywhere. If you know where to look, friends in all shapes, all sizes, all places. Hey, buddy. The Gek wipes their grease-splattered hands on their suit as they address me. They introduce him, specialist polo, fugitive of the Gek. Gave up trade. They gave up trade units, material possession to flee into a not into an anomaly outside of space and time with a robotic priest, alright? This is a lot of interesting exposition. They have a jocular air about them, all things considered. They're curious about my travels. Let's find data for... for Specialist Polo. Ooh! Okay, I gotta meet a certain amount of aliens. I can do that. See? There we go. The thing that I felt was useless before has now been put in, in context. Entity Nada, 16. Ooh, the number again. Traveller hopes to make progress. Traveller tests themselves. Nada will help and exchange progress for progress gladly. Milestone data, I've seen it, but do you understand? Please take this. Take what? Nanite clusters. Hey, thank you. What lies beyond this door? Oh, okay. Well, got to get on the stairs first. What is that? Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. Creation. Create exotic items from Quicksilver? What is Quicksilver? Oh no, tell me it's... Oh my god, is this a microtransaction? Please no. Oh my god. Oh my god, it is. What happens if I click this? 
How do you buy Quicksilver? Oh my god, tell me. Okay, I bet you I go into the menu. How does one get Quicksilver? It's not a raw material, I'm positive. This is cool, I don't think I ever saw this before. It's like a little log of all the things that you've done. Or discovered, I should say. Where? No one's going to watch this video, but tell me in the comments where you find Quicksilver, because I'm not going to look it up. Uh, and we're going to call this... The A-Ring. Of course, A stands for ass, and B stands for butt. Okay, I don't really know, but I feel like that's microtransaction related, which means it can, you know, chow down on my tiny little butthole. What do we got here? Uh, wait, co wait, wait. Corvax simulation terminal. A relic of a world long since destroyed. Okay, can't use it. Dunno why. Alright, well, let, look. We begin the next leg of our journey. Another. Okay, okay. Sort your fucking special effects out. Hello, games. That is the corona around the world, and it's coming through this wall. Get it fixed. But we begin the next leg of our journey another time. Until then to infinity and beyond.